Token economy is a reinforcement strategy, so it's a consequence intervention. Although it's often used to teach either delay to reinforcement or to thin the schedule of reinforcement, it can actually be pretty motivating in and of itself beyond the value of the backup reinforcers. If you are using um, token boards that are really motivating, then your learner will really enjoy using the token board and um, be motivated to do those things that you're asking of him. It's a really simple intervention. You first just create the token board, whether you're using a laminated piece of paper with some Velcro tokens, or maybe you're even simply drawing squares on a dry erase board or a piece of paper and maybe drawing in different faces. Um, I had a learner who loved me drawing cat faces in the squares on a dry erase board. I'm not a great artist, but he seemed to really enjoy my cat faces. And if it was motivating for him, then that's what we were going to do. I also have um, some different animated digital token boards, which are really fun. Um, and I will link to them uh, below in the description. So once you create your token board, um, you then want to identify what your backup reinforcers are going to be. So something that's motivating to the learner, something they're really excited about or interested in. It can be um, whatever is most exciting for them. Then you want to determine the criteria for earning the tokens. Now keep in mind that it might be tempting to just have the learner do a whole bunch of work for each token um, but you need to make sure that the value of the token equals the amount of work that you're asking of that learner. So it might be that you need to start out gradually and you're introducing the token board and for every task the child completes, you're um, providing them with a token. You need to determine that ahead of time so that whoever your interventionist is, whether it's a parent or an RBT or yourself, then you need to be able to consistently deliver the, the tokens. So you can gradually increase the amount of work required for each token, but you wanna make sure that you're not exceeding what the value, the child's perceived value of that token is. You can use it for a variety of different tasks, such as academic skills, um, chores around the house. You can use it for social skills, self-help skills, or you can even combine it with other interventions such as share control or compliance training. And in fact, we have this little um, video clip showing how token economy can be used with compliance training. This uses a digital token board on an iPad and it's really simple to just have the learner deliver that token. Take a look and see. And as soon as you earn all 10 tokens, you'll be able to play on that iPad. All right, so here. Stack the cups. Like this, do this. Stack the cups. Here. You got it, nice job. Here, put the other one in. You can do it. That's right, you got it. Nice job, high five. Give yourself a token. Just touch the screen. You can see how quick and easy it is to use those digital token boards. I will make sure to link to some other videos that we have around the use of token economy and the description below. So make sure that you check that out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out these other great ABA videos. And don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time we post a new video.